Let's take a look at audio tweaks right within Premiere Pro. In a previous video, I covered how to take your Premiere Pro, ground trip it into Audition and make some audio tweaks to make your sound really good. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it right within Premiere Pro. You don't ever have to leave. Check it out. All right, here we are. That's me up there talking. Here's the audio down here. What I want to do is I wanna make the audio that I recorded, it could be five different types of audio popped in here or one, it doesn't matter. It'll apply to this entire track and everything. So what I'm gonna do is make sure what I'm gonna work on is selected. Now I'm going to go up to here Notice this, Essential Sound. Let's close that. If you don't have Essential Sound up here or someplace, just go over here to Window, scroll down to here, and right there you'll see Essential Sound. Pick that, then that opens. All this stuff, if you're new to this, is like, whoa, it's so much stuff. It's so easy now to do this. What happens is right here, you have Loudness. You may not know all these terms I'm gonna tell you about, or trust me, this works and this is what you want. Now what it's telling me is this sound right now is sitting here at minus 21 LUFS. Again, if you're new to this, that may be like ah, crazy words and acronyms and things like that. Don't worry about it. Normal for broadcast, for anything you're doing broadcast, by what I mean is broadcast is your videos, everything. You wanna set it to minus 23 LUFS for stereo. Notice I have two tracks here. And if there were one track sitting here, because I have stereo tracks, I record in stereo. If I had one track here, it would be minus 19 LUFS. Well, it knows what you're doing. If it sees one track and you click this, it will set the entire track to minus 19 LUFS. And since this is stereo, left and right track, it's going to set it to minus 23 LUFS. Auto match. Here we go. Boop. It just set this entire thing to minus 23 LUFS. That's not a lot. That's not a lot of difference. But if you're sitting here with something and one of your tracks is at minus 10 LUFS, and that's really loud, and another one of your tracks is really silent, it will do a beautiful job of matching them all and making them all the same. It is so quick, I cannot believe it. You just go in and you just come over here and you go loudness and you hit that button and you're done with your sound. You don't have to worry about your peaks and your this and your bumps and everything else. Now we've done that one, let's go to the other one. Now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna add a little ambiance. If you don't have a very deep voice and really cool like some people are blessed with, I like to add a little touch of goodness to it. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna open something called the Audio Track Mixer. Let me show you this. You go to Window right here audio track mixer. Don't confuse these. Audio clip mix, cutter. you want that track mixer. It's gonna mix the track. Open that, you get all this like, oh my gosh. Again, if you're new to this, don't like freakity freak out. It may open like this and you may be like, hey, Kev told me to go here and I don't see any of this stuff he talked about. Right up here, this little guy up here, that little right there, you just click on that and it'll open the thing that we want. Now the thing you want to grab is you just go over here. We'll do it over here. See this, what I have here? I have the multi-band compressor and all these. I'll show you how to do that. You just do it right here. You go here, you click down and you say amplitude and compression. And right over here, you'll see the multi-band compressor. That's what I used. You pick that and it'll appear right there like I did. See that? Now once you get there, now I double click right here, just double click. Boop, and then it opens this up, just like in the other video, this thing right here. When you open it, it'll look like this. Zero, I just set mine here, like in the other video, to minus three. And then there, there isn't like a do button or okay button, because what happens is it doesn't go through and process the sound and change the sound. It goes on top of your sound. You can turn it on and turn off. So once you do that, you close it, and then your sound is now set like the other video. It's set to minus three, and it's set to the correct LUFS. Now we haven't destroyed anything. This is all the original sound sitting here, which is really cool. So 
what I've basically done is the same thing in the other video, but it's actually way easier than the other one. I don't have to round trip stuff. I don't have to go over to audition. I just do it all in here. And then when I do the same action on creating a video where I copy my old video and files to the new ones, this will all be set up for me. So when I bring my new footage into here and go to edit, it's all done and I'm, and I'm ready to rock and go and I don't have to mess around with it. Now there's nothing stopping you from adding other things to your audio over here. For instance, over here, let's just click right here. There's a second slot. Let's look at this. These are all the things you can do. There's your, there's that stuff. Here's a noise reduction and restoration. There's an automatic clip remover. Like if something's clipping in there, you just add the clip remover, boom. Now we have an automatic clip remover. So if you have any clips, it just takes it out of the audio. It doesn't change it if it doesn't need to. You can change the time and the pitch of the thing if you want to. So if you don't want that stuff on there, just you just take it off. You don't, you don't need to have it. Go over here, just pick none. Boom, it disappears. That's how you get rid of this. If you come over here and you pick this, you pick none, the thing will go away. And that's how you make these things go away. Isn't that cool? You can do some really great stuff. You never have to leave Premiere Pro to do all your audio things and all the things you want to do, unless you're getting into some real serious audio stuff. But I think for the most of us, we're just trying to make our audio sound good. And we're not trying to be an audio engineer and do all this stuff. Cool, huh? And there you go. Now you never have to leave Premiere Pro at all. You just run it into Premiere Pro and do everything you need right within Premiere Pro. You'll look great and you'll sound great. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. I don't know, man. I got these new glasses. They make my eyes look dark. They make me look mean, maybe. To me, they make me look mean. Little tip, I didn't know this. I got some new glasses, right? And I got them home and they weren't quite right and they were driving me crazy. Burr. You may have seen in my other video, I kept moving around and everything because I kept getting a stupid reflection in here. Burr. Well, I went back to the place where I got the glasses and sure enough, these things were off. And what they did was they adjusted them a little bit and helped me see better. So now what happens is the glare that I was seeing in my videos is all gone just by this little tiny tweak. So there's a tip, if you ever have your glasses and they're like all like this and they're reflecting and you've done your lights and you've tried everything, if I go in your eye doctor and ask them if they could adjust them a little bit so it doesn't like, you know, reflect. Like the glasses like sideways over here, like they can adjust them up and down this way and stuff like that. That's just a tip and that's free. Grrrr.